I just wanted to make something that I wanted to play. So this is Fretless, The Wrath of Rifson. It's a 2D pixel art turn-based RPG where instead of swords and shields, you're using guitars and synths to battle your way through the game. Working in this industry definitely can be a roller coaster. It can be very hard at times, but watching other people play your game and enjoy your game, there's like nothing like it. It's just a really cool experience. As the video game industry continues to grow and evolve, so do the careers within it. This is a series exploring the diverse roles shaping the future of interactive entertainment and how you can go from play to pay. My name is David Anderson. I'm founder and software engineer and producer at Ritual Studios. I'm starting a family and a starving artist path that just isn't for me. But there are, are paths where you don't need to do that, where you can you know, work on it on the side while you have a full-time job, and then once you're able to establish enough financial freedom or the, you know, enough runway with your game, then yeah, you can do it full-time. So that's the path that I wanted to take. You know, with indie games, they're able to take a lot more risk on the creative side. And you're going to find more interesting games, I think, in general. Whereas, you know, the big companies, they're going to make their Call of Duties. They're going to make, you know, the games that sell well. You may find in the indie space a game that is just really unique and people don't even know what it is. Like, what is this game? And But then a community will, like, evolve out of that, which is really cool. There's a vast array of different indie teams. My particular team is made up of four members. We've got essentially two engineers, one audio guy slash designer, and then one artist, 2D artist. And then we've, we've had some you know freelance work on the game as well. My name's Connor Smith, and I am the artist for Ritual Studios, the company we made together. Pixel art is not something you can just pick up and like you're crazy good at it. It's something where it takes time to like understand how to develop your own style and stuff like that. But if you just keep doing it every day, you'll eventually get good at it. <laughs> My name is Jeff Flynnville. I do sound and music and as well as like a few other things like design and stuff for Fretless. It's a game all about music. So you have guitar in the game, you play a synthesizer in the game, um, you play bass guitar and stuff. So uh, it, the biggest challenge is like learning all sorts of different genres of music to write for the game and then like please people who like that style of music. <laughs> Been developing for over six years and it started out in the same kind of situation, just all of us working in a living room and like just kind of hanging out and then it turned into something that's like way bigger and I think we're all pretty proud of. You know, after working on it for a few years, we really thought we had something unique and something interesting. And, you know, we were starting to be like, well, the only way this is really going to get done is if we quit our jobs and we do it full time. And, you know, the, the best path for that would be to find a publisher. I think it took us almost 12 full months to find a publisher. It's not easy. But, you know, after you put so much of your blood, sweat, tears into something too, you're just not going to let it die. Seeing it in this state, like a demo state, is really cool because, you know, all of these years of work that we've put together is finally in, like, someone's hands. That's very cool to have other people enjoy it and see all the work you've been putting for, you know, in quiet for years. There's no barrier to getting into making games other than a computer. If you have a computer, you can download the latest engines, Unity, Unreal, Godot, and you can just start working. There's free tutorials on YouTube, and 
the games industry is an $80 billion industry, and I think people don't often think about it as a career path, but it's growing year after year, and there's a lot of room for innovation and, and new people and new ideas. I'm very excited to see where it goes and what types of things creative people create.